This is Rockin' with Jamin. It's with Cultus Black. How you doing, man? Doing pretty good. How are you? Good, man. I just gotta say something. You know, Halloween was uh, last week ago, right? Was it? Yes. I didn't know that. No, it's uh. So, what's your costume? Half black face, half white face. I'm wearing a costume. Oh. What's your costume? It's my costume. Um, I don't have it on me, but it was a zombie carrying me. Have you seen those costumes? You know where they're like getting abducted by an alien? One of those costumes. Oh, okay, cool. So for those who are watching and not familiar with you yet, can you tell me all about yourself? Um, me? I'm a lead singer of a band called Cultus Black. Um, if you don't know us, then uh, find us. Just Google us. We're all over the internet. Um, I don't know what else to say, really. <laughs> We're a band. Make music. No, I have to ask, do you have the rest of the band wear masks so you can get rid of them if they don't do a good job? And yeah, absolutely. Wiser? Makes them easily replaceable, right? Yeah, pretty replaceable. Just whoop. One benefit of that is no going to bother for a pick when you're checking out Walmart, am I right? What was that? There's no like no one bothering you when you go to Walmart since you have those masks on and stuff. Actually, they tend to bother you more so. Oh. Just post uh, some pics of 10 guys in some band. Some not, and we can guess who the real members are. Is that a question? I'm confused. Uh, why do you just have an initial for your names? Because uh, we can't spell very well, so we have to just stick to one. And what do the stand for? Ah, it stands for our names. So your new song, Burn, was written during the uh, lockdown. Is that right? Yeah, it was written during the uh, COVID period, uh, during all the riots and all the madness that was going on during that period. It's we call shutdown. Yeah, basically when everything was on fire. So <laughs> burn kind of makes sense. It was all about the riots, weren't it? Wasn't it? That video is awesome. How did you come up with that concept? Oh, we just, um, I mean, you know, the name of the song is Burn, and it's, it's just kind of there. It's kind of self-explanatory that we uh, buy a fire. Um, so we needed uh, also, again, this was kind of during when we couldn't go out and do hardly anything. So um, it just, uh, it was uh, something that we could do, and it made sense with the video. Yeah, we just went and made a big bonfire and uh, had a good time. And why did you hold it off on putting it out until now? Well, um, there's a strategy to all this that basically uh, we made a bunch of content while we were all kind of closed up and not able to go out and play shows or do anything. Made a bunch of content during that period of time and been slowly releasing it. Uh, we have uh, one other music video, too, that we're still sitting on. So, you know, we didn't, obviously, you don't want to put everything everything out all at once. You want to kind of spread it out over a period of time. So it, it's just good strategy to have stuff in your back pocket so that um, Is you there, to put stuff out, you're not chasing your own tail. Yeah. Is there an entire album or just the single? There's an entire album, um, which we're going to be releasing next year. Um, we don't have a release date announced yet. Um, but that's forthcoming very shortly. But it's going to be... Um, I can say it'll be right before the tour with Static X. We're doing that. Uh, what do you plan? When do you plan on putting out more music? Next year, um, we're debating on. We may put out another single along with the album. Either that, or we'll just release the album and then put out another single shortly after the album. But um, all this will be happening kind of first quarter. Are you doing a big tour? Uh, yeah, I mean, um, the tour with uh, Static X and Fear Factory, and, uh, Mushroom Head. Who else is on that bill? Twisted, Dope, of course. We're doing that tour in March of next year. Um, what is it like touring after a pandemic? Cathartic, to some degree. Um, it's 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 very nice. It's I've said this in other interviews and stuff, but it's just. Um, 
don't know what you got till it's gone sort of deal. Um, when we weren't able to go out and do shows and weren't able to go to shows, uh, start to realize how much it means to be on a stage or to be at a show and to have that kind of give and take energy of performing in front of a live audience. So uh, post pandemic and everything else, um, it's just, it's, it's really nice to be able to get back out and you know, play large shows in front of people. That connection, you know. What is life like on the road for you? What is life like on the road? Yeah. Well, um, I, I like to say it's like the best and the worst all at the same time. Because um, one thing, um, you know, you're away from your friends, you're away from your family, you're away from your dog, you're away from anybody and everybody that you know, you know, you're kind of out um, in strange places all the time. Half the time you're sleeping on couches, you know, just wherever you can crash. So that part of it is strenuous and stressful, but it's also amazing. And uh, unlike anything else, the um, get to get on stage again, you know, connect with people or music that you have written and, and get the reactions from people and stuff like that is unlike anything else. So that's why I kind of like to say it's like the best and the worst. What's the best venue you ever played? Man, that's, um, that's difficult. Cause how, how do you uh, qualify best? You know, um, and some of the best shows that I've ever done have been in uh, kind of shitholes, you know, <laughs> But um, the best venues I've been in, like, I, I mean, this venue isn't that huge or anything, but it's legendary. Is the Whiskey A Go Go in LA? Uh, it's a legendary venue. So being able to play there a few times as I have was really great. So you know, that's always going to kind of rank up there. But then again, um, you know, clubs like um, the Machine Shop, um, um, that place is really cool. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, then, you know, bigger venues like House of Blues. Um, playing the, the first House of Blues I played, I think, was um, in Ohio. And that was really dope. Playing House of Blues in um, Disney was really cool and interesting experience. It's funny because before we went on stage, they literally told us that uh, we couldn't mention the mouse. They said, don't say anything about the mouse. <laughs> and uh, so, but, you know, being able to play Disney was just, What's your worst? Do you have any worst? Worst? Oh man. Um. Well, you know, I'm not going to name anything, but uh, back in my uh, before I was in this band, I was doing you know, smaller bands and stuff back in the day. I played um, basically it was like an outdoor festival uh, out in the woods, like middle of fucking nowhere. Uh, that was really. Uh, really poorly put together and that that i would say that would probably be the worst. But again i'm not gonna i don't want to name names or anything like that. how do my followers follow you what's that how do my followers follow you how do you follow us well i mean you can find us um if you just google us you can find us but we're on instagram we're on facebook we're on youtube um youtube cultist black uh instagram cultist black uh, we're easy to find just google us you're on death row, um, fun question time. You're on death row and it's time for your final meal. What's on the menu? Menu, final meal. Um, well, I would probably want uh, I'm go with some fried chicken. It's super basic and, and you know, Southern, but you know, that's my upbringing. So <laughs> I could say something more fancy, but I mean, ah, fuck it. I might as well comfort food so some some good old southern comfort foods some fried chicken if you could have any superpower you will, would uh choose if you could have any superpower what would you choose um um i would uh it's gotta be like one superpower i mean magneto from the x-men his superpower is pretty cool power of magnetism i would take that power because i wouldn't want to do just like laser eyes or just being able to fly the power of magnetism he can fly also all things I, I would i would take that well thank you for being on my show it's been a pleasure speaking with you and you have a nice night okay, cool goodbye have, peace